tell me what do you know about this company and why should they employ you um I, I really don't know much about this company you know that's why i came so that when i start work i will learn more about the company and you should employ me because uh, because uh, please can i can i start again can i start again no you don't want to do this so watch this video on tips on how to get that dream job hey beautiful people welcome to my channel so my name is Bisaya and today we are going to be debating a little from lifestyle we are going to be talking about how to get a job in a multinational straight out of school so if you are ready for this kind of content make sure you watch to the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel watch my other videos give this video a thumbs up if you virtually loved it and share my videos you know it's really up to the algorithm let's get into it who doesn't want to get a job straight out of university i mean that is the dream of every graduate that immediately you move from the university you enter into the favor market and you get a very good job especially a job in a multinational company that is a big plus but guys you have to work for it and so i'm going to be sharing five tips that's going to ensure that this dream comes to a reality so the first on my list is get noticed a lot of graduates are out there a lot of people competing to get into the same companies you want to get into but are the employers going to know you have to get noticed and that is by putting yourself on the various platforms that are available thankful we have a lot we have LinkedIn, for example, which is a great place to put out a good profile describing yourself, what kind of job you want to get, your qualities, your experience, and you can easily be noticed from anywhere around the world. That's a plus. You may be in Nigeria and get a job offer in the US just because you are noticed on LinkedIn. So you definitely want to try that. Other places that are available, we have jobberman.com. You have jobs.com these are the places available in nigeria but i'm sure there are a wide range of places you can put in your profile create a profile and put in your cv so as to get a good job universities churn out as high as twenty-five thousand graduates every single month they are vying for the same positions and the same jobs you want in multinational companies so you have to up your game you cannot just be Re rely, re rely on having the basic qualification for example oh i studied accounting i studied pharmacy i studied business administration that is not enough you have to add additional skills and uh, examples of additional skills you can add coding for example it doesn't have to relate to whatever you studied in school but things that uh, people are looking for in the job market or qualifications that companies are looking for will definitely give you an advantage over other candidates other things you can add to your sleep you can add data analysis which is a very good one right now because the world really needs people that can analyze the data we get on a daily basis a good platform for getting additional skills is the eds app which is available on google play and app store for iphone users and it's an application where you can get courses from universities such as MIT, Harvard, University of Washington, and a whole lot of other universities. You get coding courses, you get data management courses, you get human resources courses, a whole wide range of courses, which are some most times free, but for some courses you have to pay for to get your certificate. But most of the courses are free. So why not try that? Why not just don't leave yourself to basically having Oh, I'm a banker. I studied banking and finance. Add other things to your application, and that is going to give you an edge over other applicants. Third thing you definitely want to have is a good CV. A CV speaks for you where you are not available. Most times, people use CV to sieve out the shafts and the weeds from the pie. So you definitely want to have a good CV. 
things that should be on your CV. You should have your work experience. You could have, should have your basic information. You should have your references. You should have your skills. And if there's any award you have collected, definitely have this on your CV. I know a lot of people miss out this, you know, little tiny details. If you collected an award in school, it could be, oh, most influential. It's something you definitely want to put on your CV because it shows that you have a good influence over other people and that may put you as an edge over other candidates. Writing a C good CV is not enough. You definitely want to forward this CV to companies. So that is where your application comes in. You don't have to wait to graduate from the university before you start churning out your CV. You could write or oh, awaiting graduation so that your employer knows that he or she may have to wait for a few months before you'll be ready but you definitely have to turn out turn, you definitely have to turn out that application to as many companies as possible in your field of tip you want to do is you want to be super ready for your interview emphasis on the word super now, there's this quote I, I want to give you. It says that preparedness plus opportunity is equal to success. Yes, the opportunity will show up when you least expect, so you definitely have to be prepared. You need to Google tips on interview questions. You need to Google the field in which the company you are applying to you know stay to know the history of the company you need to know their core values you need to know what employees have said about the company in the past you need to know their expectations from you expectations from your field you need to know their competitors that is a plus if i interview someone and he or she knows oh what my competitors are doing i'll definitely hire that that person so you definitely want to research about the company that makes you prepared. You are confident on the day of the interview. Confidence. Sometimes it's not about what you know. It's about how you say it. So during the interview, you have to show confidence. You have to answer the questions correctly as they are, as they are asked. But a plus is when you say it with confidence. You need to dress properly. You need to Google interview questions in that field to have an head over others and you definitely will get that job i'd like to share my experience on my interview in, in a multinational company i was asked questions about the queen of england other people were asked questions about inflation dstv versus netflix which is better even question about dirty december in nigeria so you want to be versatile you want to know a little about everything so as to make you, you know, put, give you an edge over other candidates. And this is a plus for multinationals nowadays. And final tip I'll be giving you today is that you need to be open to negative outcomes. Yes, those things happen and everything may not go your way. But you need to be able to pick up yourself and get ready for the next interview learn from the previous one what are the things you did well what are the things you didn't do well and don't just leave it at that try and improve yourself make sure you don't make the same mistakes in your next interview and that is learning and that is growth and you are definitely going to get that job so multinationals are the dream of every graduate they have as high as millions of applicants and they want to they want to sieve out um, a lot of applications so you need to put your a game forward put your best foot forward be confident dress well research about the company do your homework do your assignments and you know just pray <laughs> that is my final tip which is a bonus pray to god and it's definitely going to make you get that dream so thanks for watching if you love the video give it a thumbs up share to your friends and comment i'll see you in my next video bye